What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness back at you with another video. Our topic is Eat Clean 101, Eat to Live Part 1. This will probably be a two to three part uh, video. This is Part 1, Eat Clean 101. According to Terry Waters, the author of the book Clean Food, a seasonal guide to eating close to the source, with more than 200 receipts for a healthy and sustainable youth, in this book he says, eating clean is about being empowered with knowledge, making the best choices that we can, going easy on ourselves and doing the best that we can do from day to day. So the whole thing, the whole premise of eating clean is to try to do eat the best food that you possibly can and try to not put undue burden on yourself but begin to make the best choice begin to look at labels begin to try to avoid certain things and knowing what to avoid all of that is part of eating clean so he's we want to repeat that he said eating clean is about being empowered i mean having power having knowledge to make the best choices that and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna paraphrase it to make the best choices that you can make but also go easy on yourself and do the best that you can from day to day so let me don't beat yourself up if you can't always have those things necessary to eat clean. You can't always eat organic. Sometimes you won't be able to get organic food. Sometimes you won't have to, you won't be able to get free ranch chicken. Sometimes you won't be able to get um, grass fed beef. Sometimes you you won't be able to get fill, highly filled with milk. So those sometimes you you won't be able to get even get spring water. You may have to drink purified water, but drinking water is the most important thing. So the basics of clean eating is consuming primarily whole unprocessed food. But if you're not able to do that, don't beat yourself up. The official clean eating movement started in the 1960s when processed food was banned for moral reasons, not health reasons. The movement has evolved and clean eating is now very individualistic. It means different things to different people. However, all fathers of this approach agree that processed foods are not included when it comes to eating clean. Eating clean revolves around maintaining a balanced and personalized diet of fresh unprocessed food, including fruits, vegetables, grains, healthy fats, and some meats, fish, and dairy. So what's the point of being clean? Besides the moral and mental boost, the words evoke, many advocates are seeking clear skin, weight loss, increased energy, stronger hand and nails, improved mental health, and better sleep. Rather than simply going on diet, these individuals are often making sustainable lifestyle ch shifts when they choose to eat clean. Because eating clean is a process that you, or it is a journey that you go on for the rest of your life. It's not a short-term fix. It's a long-term fix. The basic principle of eating clean, number one, keep it whole. Stick to whole foods, those that occur in nature, and don't go through a lab or another manufacturing unit. As that was a whole food of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables grass-fed and free-range meats, dairy, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. So that's what we talk about with the whole, whole foods. Number two, get in the kitchen. When you cook for yourself, you are almost guaranteed to up the nutritional value of your food. Restaurant food is more processed, less fresh, and often over-seasoned. Keep it simple and then build your repertoire as you learn more. 
So the key, one of the key to eating food, eating clean, is to go to the grocery store, Whole Foods, Food Line, Walmart, wherever you go. But when you go, try to get organic, if at all possible, grass fed, free range beets, means your chicken, your beef. Try to get dairy, and try to get processed dairy. Dairy, I'm sorry, dairy that is filtered, highly filtered uh, milk. If you're going to drink milk, you want to get whole grains. That can be whole grain breads, etc., nuts and seeds. And then when you get that, your fresh fruits and vegetables, cook it yourself. Take it to your house and cook your own self. And try not to overcook it because. You can get all of that at a restaurant and it's healthy. And sometimes you may have to go to a restaurant. So we're not putting down going to a restaurant. Just know that the food you get at the restaurant is more processed than, and is less fresh than the food that you will cook for yourself. Number three, eliminate refined sugar and carbohydrates. Refined sugar that we talked in the, uh, about in the video yesterday, white sugar, you want to avoid white sugar. You want to avoid um simple carbohydrates so you want to remove white foods like white sugar and white flour we said yesterday avoid white flour white sugar and white rice avoid those things when it comes to food and this is not a regular thing just a, just a fact most of the time it's white it ain't it's not right i mean white bread white flour Cause that white flour with the white bread, that is simple carbohydrates. You don't want that. So you want to remove that from your diet if you're aiming to eat clean. So this includes all standard desserts containing white sugar as well as white pasta, white rice, bread, and pastries. Number four, maintain your blood sugar. Keeping your blood sugar stable greatly contributes to healthy food choices. When you wait too long between meals or eat processed foods that spike blood sugar, leading to a crash in energy, you are more likely to reach for sugar, fat, or ca caffeine to keep your energy up. If you continue this cycle, you always feel irritable and exhausted. If you ensure you eat whole foods every three to four hours, your blood sugar and mentality remain stable. Number five, remember the magic combination of protein, fat, and complex carbohydrates. Those are your micronutrients. You have to have protein, fats, and complex carbohydrates. And we have plenty of videos on this channel dealing with micronutrients. So check some of those videos out. Uh, check the... Video we did yesterday. Check out those videos and you will get more information concerning protein, fat, and complex carbohydrates. So, because those are your micronutrients, those are the nutrients that you need the most. All right. You should aim to get a serving for each group at every meal. So, a serving of proteins, some serving of fats, and a serving of complex carbohydrates. Good protein is grass fed chicken. I mean, free range chicken, not grass fed chicken, but free range chickens, grass fed beef, grass fed lamb, fish. Clean fish is a good source of protein. Good source of fats, omega 3. You want fats that are omega 3s. You want avocados. You want salmon. Those are good sources of, of uh, olive oil. Salmon, has, salmon is a good source of protein. It also has omega 3s. But you want good fats. You want avocados, olive oil, etc. And you want complex carbohydrates. That's fruits. Fruits are complex carbohydrates. You want, don't want to get your carbohydrates from cakes, etc. You should aim to get a serving from each group at 
at every meal, as we said before, and this will create optimal blood sugar levels and stave off your cravings and your brain fog. So some examples that we've just stated, and we're gonna reiterate. Some great protein sources include grass-fed meat, fish, tofu, some top-notch fat options or avocados that we've stated, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. When reaching for complex carbs, try quino, brine rice, or sweet potatoes. Also, you can eat apples, oranges, bananas. Those are also complex carbohydrates. Majority of fruits are complex carbohydrates. So I want to leave you with that. I ask that you subscribe to the channel. That you um, hit the like button, share the video, and until next time, peace. What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness. Back at you once again with another video. This is part two in our series, Clean Eating 101. We have many videos on this channel dealing with clean eating, showing you how to eat to live. So check some of those videos out in our video archives, our library, our playlists. We have a playlist entitled Healthy, healthy Living, Healthy Eating. You will find the majority of those videos in that playlist. So I want to welcome you to the channel. If it's your first time stopping by, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video if you find value in the video. So without further ado, let's move on to Eat the Leo Part 2, Clean Eating 101. As we begin, let's do, a, let's do a little recap of what we talked about yesterday in our video, Clean Eating 101. And part one of Clean Eating 101, something entitled Clean Eating 101, Eat to Live. And we'll have that video uh, on the bottom of this video at the end. So the recap, the, to, to recap, the term clean eating has become very popular in the health community. It's a diet pattern that focuses on fresh, whole foods. This lifestyle can be easy and enjoyable as long as you follow a few general guidelines. So we're gonna look at some, we talked about some of the guidelines yesterday, so we're gonna recap some, some of those guidelines. Clean eating involves choosing foods that are minimally processed, slightly processed, ethically raised and rich in naturally occurring nutrients. Vegetables and fruits should form the basis of a clean eating lifestyle. These whole foods require little, little preparation and provide many health benefits. Processed foods are directly opposed to the clean eating lifestyle. As they have been modified from their natural state. Most processed items have lost some of their fiber and nutrients but gained sugar, chemicals or other ingredients. What's more, what's more, processed foods have been linked to inflammation and an increased risk of heart disease. Even if unhealthy ingredients aren't added to these goods, they still lack many of the benefits provided by whole foods. Eating clean involves avoiding processed foods as much as possible. Processed foods conflict with clean eating due to they are pre to, due to their preservatives and their lack of nutrients. So that summarizes so one of the key things about one of the key things about eating clean is that you want food that is free of pre preservatives and you want food that is rich in nutrients. And the best way to get your food rich, nutrient rich food or nutrient dense food is to get food that hasn't been processed yet, that hasn't went through a um, 
factory or went through some kind of means to change it over to something else. So that is unprocessed meat, it's natural, whole, a natural whole food. To maintain a clean eating lifestyle, you should read labels to ensure that packaged products, packaged produce, nuts, meats, and other foods contain no questionable ingredients. A lot of times you look at the label on your food, you check out the, the ingredients you can't pronounce. And if you can't pronounce the ingredients, most of the time it's not good for you. Sorry for the interruption, but let's get back to the video. Okay. So you want to look at the label, make sure that there's no ingredients in the in what in the product that you're buying or the food that you're buying that you don't understand. And a lot of those ingredients that are in processed foods are ingredients that help the food stay on the shelf for a long time. So they're mostly pre preservatives. So you want to stop eating refined carbs. And we talked about yesterday refined carbs with white sugar, especially when we boil white sugar. Refined carbs are highly processed foods that are easy to overeat, yet provide little nutritional value. Research has linked refined carb consumption to inflammatory insulin resistance but to inflammation, insulin resistance, fatty liver, and obesity. In contrast, whole grains, which provide more nutrients and fiber, may reduce inflammation and promote better gut health. We also have some videos on this um, dealing with gut health, leaky gut. Check some of those videos out to get more, more knowledge about what... Um, Leaky gut is, and how you should, how you can improve your gut health with good probiotics. Now, in contrast, we're gonna, we're gonna in one study in two thousand. When one study concerned over two thousand people. Those who consume mostly whole grains were less likely to have excess belly fat than those who focus on refined grains. If you eat grain, choose the least processed kinds, such as sprouted grain bread and steel cut oats. Stay away from ready to eat cereals, white bread, and other refined carbs. We talked about white bread yesterday. You should avoid the, the, the whites, white bread, white rice, and white sugar. You should avoid those at all costs. In summary, refined grains are inflammatory as they lack fiber and other valuable nutrients. To eat clean, choose minimally processed grains or avoid them altogether. You can't get minimally processed grains, it's best just to avoid grains. You want to avoid vegetable oils and spreads. That's another thing you want to do is you want to eat clean. Vegetable oils and margarine don't meet the criteria for clean eating. For start, they, they are produced through chemical extraction, making them highly processed. Some oils also contain high levels of the omega-6 fat, linoleic acid. So you want to check and make sure you, that whatever you use don't have a lot of oil in it, not linoleic acid, so you want to avoid that. Studies in animals and isolated cells suggest that it increases inflammation, potentially raising your risk of weight gain and heart disease. While artificial trans fats have been banned in the United States and other countries, some margarines and spreads may still contain small amounts of artificial trans fats. After clean eating discourages all vegetable oils and spreads, it's important to eat a moderate amount of healthy fats. And those healthy fats include, uh, these healthy fats include fatty fish. So we eat, eat fish, eating fish is good. Fish has omega-6 and special salmon. So eat nuts and avocados. You eat avocado once a day. 
At least one. If you can't avoid vegetable oil completely, choose olive oil. Summary, margarines and some vegetable oils are highly processed and linked to an increased risk of disease. Opt for healthy, minimally processed oils and fats. Also, next step, avoid added sugar in any form. Check your food, check your yogurt when you buy yogurt, look and see if you have any added sugar. Check your uh, cookies, cakes, etc. See to have any what added sugar it has in it. Uh, anything you buy, look and see to have any added sugars. The sugar that comes from the um, fruits is normally good, is normally okay, but you want to avoid the added sugar. So I'm going to have 22 gram, um, grams of sugar, but 14 of that is added sugars. So you want to avoid the added sugar. Look and make sure you check for added sugars. It's vital to avoid added sugar if you're trying to eat clean. Yet added sugar is very common, even found in foods that don't taste particularly sweet, like sauces and condiments. Both table sugar and high fructose corn syrup are high in fructose. Studies suggest that this compound may play a role in obesity, diabetes, fatty liver, and cancer, among other health problems. Depending on your health, you can occasionally eat small amounts of natural sugar, such as honey or maple syrup, while eating clean. But you definitely want to avoid the white sugar, the high processed white sugar, and want to avoid the high fruit of corn syrup. However, you have diabetes, metabolic syndrome, or similar health issues, it's best to avoid all forms of concentrated sugar, including those from natural sources. I'm not a doctor, but that's a general rule. You check with your physician if you have a di diabetes, if you have pre-diabetes, or you think you might have diabetes, check with your physician always. Moreover, even natural sugar sources contribute very little nutritional value. For truly clean eating, try to consume foods in their natural, unsweetened state. Learn to appreciate the sweetness of fruit and the subtle flavors of nuts and other whole foods. In summary, sugar is highly processed and linked to several health problems. If you're trying to eat clean, use small amounts of natural sweeteners, occasionally avoid sugar altogether. Avoid alcohol. Water should be your go-to drink. So you want to avoid sweet juices. You want to avoid sodas. You want to avoid all those other beverages. Your main beverage should be water, H2O. High alkaline water, at least with a pH balance of 7.5 and above. And you should drink at least 64 ounces a day minimum and avoid alcohol some of you who drink wine maybe a glass of wine every once in a while but if i were you i'd avoid alcohol period avoid alcohol so eating clean in many cases it depends on you at individually so it, it depends on your on your individual I mean, it depends on your bow individuality but the main synopsis or the main thing of eating clean is to avoid processed foods try to avoid processed foods as much as possible try to eat out in restaurants limitedly don't spend a whole lot of time in restaurants Buy your food fresh, bring it home and prepare it in your kitchen. That'll be a much healthier meal than you can get from a restaurant. So, concentrate on cooking your meal and concentrate on buying fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. Try to get the best meats as possible. Grass fed, if you can't get grass fed, get the best you can. Try to get free-range chickens. 
try to get chicken that are able to move out, that are not cooped, cooped up in a in a chicken pen. You want try to get chicken that get that, that are getting sunlight. So do the best you can. Try to avoid, as we said yesterday, avoid eating vegetables from cans, fruits from cans, meat from cans. If you can't, that's okay. But always try to do better. Some right now you may not you, you may can only afford cans. But always try to do better. Like I said, also I said yesterday, if you drink water, try to drink. As I just said today, also drink pure, clean water, spring water, uh, highly purified water that is that that is um been through the purification cycle, that is free of any uh, chemicals or. Etc. And try to have your water at a good pH 7.5, etc. If you can't do that and all you got is tap water, drink that tap water because you got to have water. Don't avoid water. You must have water. So, because the, the, every organ in the body needs water. You hold, every part of you needs water. So, that's, very, that's the most important thing to get water. Sometimes you have to make a sacrifice. You can't always get organic foods. You can't always eat organic vegetables, but you still need vegetables. Just try to clean as best you can to get the um, the toxins off of it. So always try to remember that you must have protein, fats, and carbohydrates in every meal. Try to make that a habit of having uh, complex carbohydrates, complex carbs, not simple carbs, complex carbs, good fats, and protein at every meal. And try to drink eight hours, eight glasses, of, eight glasses of water, sixty-four ounces of water. Because the glass you might can drink eight glasses, and it might be a little small glass, but try to get sixty-four ounces of water. At a minimum, you can drink more, but get a minimum, get that. Try to avoid alcohol. Try to avoid tobacco. Try to avoid an excess of um, caffeine. Try to avoid um, nicotine. Try to get your sleep, eight hours of sleep. At least six to eight hours of sleep. Get your sleep, get your rest. All of those things you can do to help yourself live a more productive life, have more energy to accomplish the things you need to accomplish. So until next time, we wish you peace. Hope, hope, hope you can um, take time to meditate, take time to pray, and be at peace. And know, and know that whatever you're facing, that too will pass. So this information we got, we can't come from today, come from uh, healthline.com. So check that out. Check out healthline.com. We'll have a link to it in the, in the uh, description. Like I said, we also have a link to our other videos dealing with eat, uh, eat, uh, clean eating or uh, eating to live. So until next time, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. If you don't subscribe, at least hit the like button. Smash that like button. That helps the channel out. So until next time, peace. What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Eye Connections Health and Wellness Center. Come at you again with a video. This is the third part of our video, Clean Eating 101. This podcast or video log is dealing with the principle, principles of how to eat to live. When you eat clean, you're eating to live. You're putting your, uh, you're using your food to, to extend your life, not to shorten your life. This is Clean Eating 101, Eat Your Little Part 3. If you're new to this channel, I ask you to please like the video, hit that, hit that uh, like button, smash it. Subscribe to the channel, share the video. 
We have very we 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 try to put out a video daily. So hit that hit that notification button, and you'll be notified when we put out a new video. We have we try to have good content, good educational content, also in um educational, informative, and we try to put out some um entertaining videos. But our channel is basically a health and wellness channel, and health and wellness. That includes financial wellness. That includes spiritual wellness. So we have videos throughout the um, throughout this channel's playlist dealing with those areas: physical, mental, and spiritual, as well as financial. This. This is a continuation from yesterday's video, part two, Clean Eating 101. And in this video, we want to uh, emphasize quality over quantity. The clean eating approach emphasizes quality over quantity. Not all calories are equal. When you stick to whole foods, you're much, you're much more likely to keep your calorie intake at an appropriate level for your body. And you're more likely to maintain a healthy weight as a, as a result of doing that. It's easy to eat your way through an entire bag of potato chips, but it's more. But if you eat more than more than one or two apples, it will be hard, laborious. So it's, it's easy to eat a bag of potato chips with no problem, but it takes it's a little more difficult to eat one one or two apples. So. It's about quality over quantity. When you stick to whole foods, you're much more likely to keep your calorie intake at an appropriate level. So that's very important to remember. Whole foods fill you up and fuel you, whereas empty calories like those found in candy and potato chips Fill a mental care even, but don't physically fill you up. Your mindset will improve when you switch to whole whole foods. This is hard to feel guilty after filling up on genuine nutrients. Nobody feels guilty of after eating an, an apple or eating two two bananas or eating a couple of oranges or eating a handful of a thing of grapes. Nobody feels guilty about that. Because you know your your mind and your body appreciates good healthy food. If you eat a, if you eat a plate of bro broccoli, you're not going to feel guilty because you know that's good healthy food. Whole foods also regulate cholesterol levels and ward off cancer, dementia, and plethora and a plethora of other conditions. In addition, the high fiber content of fruits, vegetables, and grains keep the digestive system in tip-top shape, which is essential to, for optimal health. <laughs> Eating whole foods ensure you get accurate, I'm sorry, adequate. Eating whole foods ensure you get adequate amounts of essential nutrients and minerals like vitamin B12, magnesium, calcium, and more. Whole foods boost a boast incredible nutrient profiles. And it's best to eat a wide range of all the recommended foods to ensure any nutritional void is filled. Sure, you could pop vitamins in pill form all day, but nutrients are much more available to you and more readily absorbed when consumed through food. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. If you take care of yourself by feeding yourself beautiful food, you're much more likely to engage in self-care such as exercise, meditation, baths, massages, and other techniques that make your life rich and vibrant. When you feel great, you're able to move through your days with joy and ease, creating and, creating and nurturing support relationships and a, and a career that you love. So, when you decide to eat clean, when you decide that you're going to eat to live, 
That means you put your health above food. Your health becomes the priority. So you're only going to eat those foods that will further your health. Those foods that will sustain your life. So you're not trying to eat anything that's going to hinder or harm your life. So you want to eat to live. You don't want to live to eat. When you live to eat, you just eat because your food tastes good. Man, this is good. I want, I want this. But you're not you're not even thinking about the effect that that food has on your body. So we want to eat to live. We want to live to eat. Now, in order to do that, you need to know what foods to buy. So this is a clean grocery list that was provided by the Institute of Integrated Nutrition. Nutrition. I will have the link to this in the um, information under this video. So you'll be able to check that out. We have sources where you can go and, and look at a clean grocery list. So, as I said, keep in mind that the more organic items you choose, the better. And we've said in many other videos, if you can get organic, always get the organic item. But if you're unable to get the organic item, get the next best thing. So you want to choose... the most readily available item, choosing conventional is still a better choice than processing junk food options. So if I don't see organic grapes, I still should buy grapes. If I don't see organic avocados, I still should buy avocados. But if I see organic avocados, I should get the, I should, my priority should be the, the organic avocados or the organic grapes. Just, just to use those two items as uh, examples. If organic is readily available, choosing conventional is still a better choice than processing junk food option, junk food. So let's look at the vegetables, some vegetables that you should purchase like i said you should try to get it organic but if it's not organic you still should should buy it. kale broccoli spinach romaine lettuce zucchini peppers carrots squash sweet potatoes onions garlic fruit and then um these are these are carbs these are fruit that you should get berries bananas apples, pears avocados, oranges, grapefruit lemons, and avocados although it's a fruit, it's also a great source of fats But now it's a great source of um, potassium, of uh, vitamin K. Apples, great source of vitamin C. Oranges, we know is a great source of vitamin C. Lemons, great source of vitamin C. Lemon, putting lemons, in, putting a little bit of lemon drop in your water, has great benefits for your health. In fact, there's a video, we have a video on this on this channel dealing with the, the effects of lemon and how vital putting drinking lemon water is for your health. So check that video out when you get a chance. Now, herbs and spices. Salt, when you're dealing with salt, try to use Himalayan salt. Try to use um, other, other types of salt. Um, Right now, my, my mind is not, uh, but try to avoid that you, your regular, your regular salt. Try to use a higher level of uh, salt. Try to use sea salt. Pepper is also a good spice. Pepper uh, help the help the blood flow. 
chili flakes, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, basil, oregano, parsley, and thyme. Those are up, those are some other good herbs and spices. Some condiments feature um, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, salsa, hot sauce, soy sauce, uh, tamari, raw honey, pure maple syrup, raw stevia. Raw stevia is good to use as a sweetener, so is uh, raw honey. All those are good sweeteners. If you need to sweeten your coffee, your tea, your cereal, etc. Now some protein, eggs, salmon, white fish, chicken, turkey, beef, tempeh, tufo, lentils, and green peas. Some good nuts and seeds and oils, which a good source of fat, just like avocados are a good source of fats. And also, the, but going back to the fish, uh, fish also is a good source of uh, omega threes. So nuts and seeds and oils. Look at almonds, cashews, nut butter, chia seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, coconut oil, and olive oil. So try to make sure when you go to the grocery store, make sure you try to shop. And the outer aisles first, when you go into the grocery store, first thing you should do is shop from the outer aisles and then go in. By shopping through the outer aisles, you're going to ensure that you get your fresh fruits and vegetables, your fresh cut meats. You can stop, you should go by the baker, get fresh bread, go by the uh, meat place and get freshly cut meat and they still do that in, in grocery stores if you want some fresh cut meat they they will do that they got go and try to get the fresh fish you can buy you don't have to go into the freezer area and get the frozen packaged fish they'll have an area there are areas in all grocery stores that have fresh fish that out that you can get so shop the outer aisles get your fresh stuff vegetables fruit, meat, bread, etc., and then move inside. So, if you stay to the to the end, you are real truthful. We appreciate you, and we hope that um, you will consider, if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that like button, and until next time, we're out.